Today is November 6th um, here in Apache Junction, Arizona, and it is 91 degrees today is the high. <laughs> so we decided to get out of the RV and come on down to the pool here in the RV <clears throat> resort. It is a heated pool. They've got a jacuzzi, a little too warm for the jacuzzi. We have been in there a couple times at night though, so far. Um, pool's great, it's nice and refreshing. It's not too warm. It's very nice. Yeah, very clean. But yeah, it's a nice, nice relaxing day. We are going to go ahead and give you a tour of this awesome RV park here and let you guys know what we think about it and everything else. All right, I want to tell you about our campground here in Apache Junction. This is Campground USA. We've got 129 full hookup sites here, both pull-throughs and back-ins. They've got a huge clubhouse, a nice heated pool, spa, pickleball. Um, all the roads are paved. All of the spots are gravel with a brick patio and it is just a beautiful place it really is it is dog friendly they have a dog park on property you are close to the freeway but the noise really isn't that big a deal you've got a huge laundry room i think there's eight washers and eight dryers and it takes money or they've got this app that larika tells me about she puts money on her app and can just um, program it right into the washer and dryer and pay for all of our laundry there. And apparently it's not that expensive because she doesn't really have a problem doing all of our laundry here. Uh, there's a horseshoe pit. So there's two different sets of showers, one over by the pool and then one over on the other side of the park over by the main office. They have daily rates, weekly rates, and monthly rates. We have just been very happy with it so far. Uh, we're here for a total of almost three months. So yeah, if you're looking for a park out here, go ahead and check out Campground USA. I mean, Apache Junction, Arizona, a lot of people come out here. A lot of people spend the holidays and spend the winters out here. So there are dozens upon dozens of RV parks all around this immediate area. And this is the first one in Apache Junction that we've ever been to, but we like it. We really do. It's so funny because three weeks ago we were in Oregon and it was 58 degrees and raining and cold and we had our heater on <laughs> every day. And we get back here and we've had the air conditioner on every day. We've been in the pool and the jacuzzi and everything else. So it kind of tricked us because it came down and then it went back up. Now after, I think after tomorrow, it's supposed to drop into like the low 80s, 70s. So we'll be good. But for some reason, the last three, four days have been in the 90s again. So it right. is what it is. Still beautiful at night, beautiful in the mornings. It's more just the afternoon. And actually in the pool, it feels fantastic. So not 110 yeah so we'll take it and the ac usually turns off by about 7 7 30 and doesn't kick back on until the next day around 10 or 11 o'clock mm -hmm. so it's kind of nice because at night we open up the door sit outside on the patio have dinner watch the game out on the outdoor patio tv so yeah it's all good it's all good all right we're gonna go enjoy the pool and we'll talk to you guys later so we are in the process right now of hanging up pictures and doing yeah. pictures inside the we RV. started a fun project. <laughs> Very fun project. So we just returned back to home base of Arizona mm -hmm. after about almost five months on the road. Right now it's almost the middle of November and we decided to go through our phones and pick out all of the pictures of all the great places that we visited in the last mm -hmm. five months and start printing pictures. Well, and kudos to Kevin because he really pushed me on this one. And I have a tendency to procrastinate and only because I get so overloaded and we had so many beautiful pictures and we knew that we had to narrow it down because the RVs are small. <laughs> Even though ours is big, they're small. They have, they don't have a ton of, of wall space. And so I knew it was going to be kind of a daunting project. Um, but we did it and we ordered the pictures and we actually went through a whole process with the frames as well. So we ordered from Amazon a bunch of these frames and they come in, I want to say three different colors. I know there's black, yes. there's white, and I think there's like a wood coloring one. We did white, white brightens things up. So, um, yes. and it kind of matched our RV a lot more. So we did white and they're really uh, white, white yes. which is fantastic. They don't have real glass which we like. We ordered eight by eights from Sam's Club and they really so excited with how they turned out. Like, I love this one. Ooh. 
<laughs> yes. Uh, the Grand Tetons. And, you follow yeah. us on Instagram and Facebook. I'm sure you've seen a lot of these pictures posted, but... But, like, it's so different when they're on your phone and you think, gosh, they're beautiful, but what are they going to look like printed? And I'm right. so impressed. I'm so excited for it. So I am labeling them all on the back because I don't want to forget where these were, and I also don't want to forget the time of year we went. Yes. So I am doing that real quick, and then we're going to go ahead and take our frames, frame them all, and then we shall figure out where to put them, how exactly. we want to arrange them in the rig. So. Yep. And we will be showing you guys exactly what the brand of the frames are. Um, they're not sponsored or anything, no. but we will definitely put a link down below in the description to the frames, especially if we like them. And again, yeah. like Larika said, the pictures are just Sam's Club just photo. Sam's Club. Go through there, upload them, and then you crop them and you tell them what size pictures you want. And then the frames actually come in boxes of nine on Amazon. And we'll go ahead and link that down below. So if you're interested after you see our finished product, if you want to try to do the same thing, click on the link and go for it. So we're going to be sitting while um, here for the holidays. Right. So we'll have to see down the road how they work out with traveling. So, so far we're, we're pretty okay with them. They're mm -hmm. um, really lightweight. Like I said, that was our big thing and no glass. And so we're going to go from there. After we get them all up, we'll kind of show you how it all worked out. And coming up in a couple of weeks, we're actually going to be doing a tour of the RV and showing you guys the entire RV. We've owned it now for a little over a year and we've never given you a tour of it. So we will give you a tour. Bits and pieces. Yep. Right here, live the first one, see how it works out. Place the picture inside the frame. Put the backings back in. They come matted if you don't want to do an eight by eight and you want to do a smaller, mm -hmm. which is kind of cool too. So you could just put it in that little um, framey thing. And then you take the lightweight backing and you see all the little knobs on here and you see all the little tabs on the frame you just snap the whole thing back into place and that's it nice and simple there we go our first picture framed is from equal estate park on one of our great hikes and this is one of the little overlooks so yeah first picture framed pretty simple very lightweight we're happy so far all right, idea. we're going to keep working on this and we'll show you the finished product. <laughs> Got them all framed up. Some examples. Lots of selfies. Well, it's kind of our thing. They were kind of a thing with the stuff, but like yeah. so beautiful. It's so light. Yes. Which is fantastic. I think these are going to work out well. So now... As long as they stay on the wall, right? Yeah. So now we're going to figure out if we want to use the stickers that came with it or we're going to go ahead and just command strip the tops and the bottoms. The backs of the frames actually have a nice wide top and bottom piece here so we could actually do a command strip on, e on either one and stick them up or we can try to use the stickers that it came with. They say they're, they're good, no stick on the wall, but we'll see what happens. We're pretty happy with the way they turned out. So now we're gonna try to sort through them and see what kind of, see where we wanna put them. Doing. Yeah, because Basically, all the pictures are scenery or us. With scenery. With scenery. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to go ahead and put them all up and we'll show you the final result. Little change of plans. Once we got all the pictures in the frames and started walking around and laying them out as far as where we may or may not want to put them, and then we realized we've got what about? 12 more pictures without frames? Yeah, we just wasn't sure how we wanted to do it. It's so hard to figure out the layout. So we're just kind of setting them at the top of the slides right now, trying to think on the rest of them. We're gonna order one more box of frames, mm -hmm. so nine. And then, cause we have this big wall back here um, and we can even do the bedroom, things like that. Right. So I'd rather have a few more frames, figure it out. And before we stick them permanently where we want them, I wanna make sure the pictures that we want lower are lower and vice. So we'd have to get the frames basically yeah. before we stick anything. So we'll get back at it here as soon as the new frames come in. They're supposed to show up in a few days and we'll put all those together. And then I'm sure it's gonna take us quite a while to figure out where we're gonna put them all. There's a lot of pictures, and but it's a big RV and it's just something that we've always wanted to do and have lots of pictures of all of our adventures up on the wall. So we're gonna finish this project in a little bit. Um, you're not gonna to have to wait very long because we'll be starting it right now. It's been a couple days. 
since we started our picture project mm -hmm. and now pretty much it's done so for the most part it is done yeah we got the majority of them up i think we have like six pictures left but we have to hold off on those until we get our family picture done during uh christmas season with the boys and then we're going to put a family picture up and then we'll put the rest of the pictures around it or so, figure out how they're going to the layout yeah so, you know, last few pictures are kind of kind of hang tight, but for the most part, the picture decorating is done. All right, guys, we'll see you in a little bit. Good afternoon, everyone. So today we are at my sister's house and we have all gathered at her house to do our family tradition of making the homemade raviolis for our Christmas dinner. I'm gonna show you how that's done. I'll show you the stations. <laughs> so come inside. Here is the main room. Sorry, it's a little loud because everybody's gathered in the kitchen right now. My mom is making the dough. Um, but anyway, it basically starts at this table. We have three pasta machines. This is where we'll roll out the dough and make it nice and long and flat. So we can have toppers and bo bottoms and tops uh, for the raviolis. So who sits at this station? Me, Kevin, and our brother-in-law, Ricky. And we've done that for years and years. Um, so we are the dough rollers of the family. <laughs> and it's funny because when everybody comes in, we've all been doing this for so long, that when everybody comes in, they're like, they go to their spot. They know exactly what they are. So anyways, all right. So after the dough is rolled out, it goes over to this table. And these are our stuffers. The dough will go on to this, this uh, tray right here. They, they indent it very lightly with this. They just put this on top to create kind of a small little, it's not even a hole, just an indentation. And they'll stuff it with the filling. The filling is in here, I'll show you. This is the cheese filling, but we also have a spinach and meat filling. The spinach and meat is very traditional in the family. Cheese came along quite a few years ago, but I can't remember how many, but the spinach and meat is how my grandmother did it and probably her grandmother and all that. That's what we knew as kids growing up. Cheese came later. And cheese is quite the favorite, but I still love the traditional. They're both really good. Anyway, so after they get after they get stuffed, they get another topper of dough and we put it on top and then they go over to this table. And on this table, the rollers will roll it really hard. And you have to get the indentations, both pieces of dough and the stuffing, the indentations. Um, so then they'll go over here and they pop them out and they'll put them on these trays. And then you'll see the pad of paper and pen and that's where we keep track so we know how many we have. I believe we bag them in, in bags of 25, the counts. Most of the time we freeze them. There have been times we've done them really close to Christmas, not very often, just because so much is going on, and then we can use them fresh. But anyway, that's the process. I'm sure we'll show you everybody doing it once we get started. All right, here we go. I'm gonna start rolling the dough. So what we do is we take a bunch of the leftover dough and we'll put it through, I don't know if you can tell on this machine, but you can do just the flat dough like we have now, there's a fettuccine setting and then a spaghetti setting. So we take the dough and we roll it out and we make homemade spaghetti. So we'll make a big pan of sauce and the spaghetti and then we all eat fresh spaghetti. It's part of our tradition. Tonight. Tonight, yep, yeah. fresh spaghetti tonight. So that's what we're doing, we're rolling out the spaghetti. Are 
our holiday family traditions. My kids grew up in this. I grew up in this. I grew up watching my grandmother and my mom do it. And as soon as I was old enough to start helping, then I would start helping. And what I love about today is I get to be with all my aunts and uncles, my mom, my sisters, anybody that wants to come. But my kids as well are coming with their significant others, and they've taken on the, the traditions. So anyway, it's amazing. What kind of family holiday traditions do you have? Let us know in the comments. Alrighty, more projects around the RV this morning. Not sure if we ever told you that sometime on our way to Oregon, a couple of our access doors on the side of the RV broke. The power cord reel, just the uh, actual door snapped off of the frame. So we had it all duct taped together. The access door for the washer and dryer connections the door itself actually snapped in half and we found it flopped open. So I don't know if it was loose and a gust of wind took it and slammed it up against the RV and it cracked. So both of these have been duct taped up for the last couple months and they look really bad. All right, we're gonna take some goo gone and try to get rid of all the tape residue we left on there. Hopefully it works. It was a quick fix. You know, all you have to do is unscrew all the bolts, scrape off the silicone, put the new one in place, screw it back in, and then I've got clear silicone, siliconed all the edges, and voila, they're all back to normal. They're both black, so one of them doesn't match, but hey, that's okay, I'll live with it. Yeah, this one doesn't match because they all just come in black, and obviously what I figured out when you take these things apart is everything is installed and then they paint over the top of it. So someday if I can get around to getting a paint match on this or maybe when we go and get our warranty work done maybe they can hit it real quick with some silver but we'll figure it out. The tricky part about this one only was the way it's designed the power cord is runs through the middle of it. So in the middle of this process I had to stop everything turn off the breaker un unplug the power cord, slide it, old one out, slide the new one back in, plug everything back in, turn the breaker on, go back inside and turn everything else back on. But that was really the only issue. And it wasn't even an issue. It was just more of an inconvenience waiting for everything to reboot and changing all the clocks back and everything. But another project done, RV life. So Larika and I are on a little road trip. We decided to spend a few days with some family and get out of town. So we are going to have some private time. Okay, sorry, we're not going to bring you along with us on this little road trip. Little four days um, getting out of town with some family. But, you know, every now and then you got to do some things just for, just for yourself. So we're not going to do any filming or anything like that. Sorry, we're not going to take you with us. But we're going to go enjoy a little vacation here while we're still back in our home state. Most of the time we bring you guys along with us on the journey. This time, it's a family thing. We're just going to keep it for us. So, hope you guys understand, but we love you all and we thank you for all your support. And it's perfect time to end you on this video. So, do us a favor if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that bell down below and leave us a comment. Let us know what you think of the channel. And that's the end of it. So, we're going to leave you guys right here. Hope you have a great day and we'll see you all next week. Bye bye.